Hey guys, Daniel here with Live Tech Australia. Today I've got a quick Photoshop tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to give your images an Instagram sort of feel. Now when I open an image in Photoshop, straight away I like to go uh, Command Shift L or Control Shift L on a PC. That just gives it auto tone. Um, then what I like to do is go down to my layers panel and select an adjustment layer, which is this one, and select gradient map. And this is where, imagine like in Instagram, all your filters will be. So imagine all these different gradients are different filters, or even if you're used to Visco cam or whatever like that. So I'm just going to pick a filter, so to speak. Let's say this one. You can see we've already got a nice effect on our image. But if we choose a blending mode here, so let's possibly multiply, you can just try all these, color burn, uh, depends what the look that you're going for, lighten, screen, color dodge, linear, overlay maybe. There's so many different things, soft light. I might actually try multiply just for the sake of it or there was one that I just liked, I saw. Uh, darker, darker color, that, that seems kind of nice to me. I think I might go with that. So you can see what it looks like without it and with it. Now some people actually like to add like scratches or you know textures, grunge textures. So if you do a quick Google search like scratch textures, I just select my Google search to be black. It'll only give me black images and obviously larger than a certain size. I'm going to try and find a subtle image of scratches. I think uh, this one's kind of nice texture. View image. Now obviously if you're doing this for a, a, as a paid job. Um, you would not just be googling images because well that's copyright so I'm just gonna place that image in there there you go you can see it's in just select it there okay now what I'm gonna do is go to the blending mode of this image and multiply nope okay overlay now you can see we've got the nice little textures here the scratch textures some people like that some people don't like it too much you can drop the opacity down if you want to make it a bit more subtle. Uh, so let's say about 65%. And I think that's kind of a nice result. Um, it's a quick way to get Instagram-like effects on your images in Photoshop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to leave your comment telling me what you thought and what tutorials you want to see in the future. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and also join our emailing list. The link is in the description. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.